Friends, I hope you are well. Let's talk about NVIDIA. So obviously today the market, we start off really rough. I mean, like we were like, oh God, here's another, you know, cutthroat day. Blood on the streets, but things turned around when we saw this, inf you know, inflation report come out and it was actually decent. It was actually good news. Um, and the market shot up. The market shot up quite a bit. I mean, <laughs> really all we do is gain back numbers we had two weeks ago but still you know it could have been worse um so here's the skibby you know with nvidia here this is kind of this is what i know i've been preaching and this is what other people that you've probably seen on tiktok youtube whatever y you've got to be careful if you're waiting for nvidia to like sink there of course there's there's always going to be that person out there saying like oh this this stocks i'm embarrassed on it it's going to go down nvidia's going to go down to 50 bucks it's going to go hit the 60 bucks you just wait you watch and see what happens listen there's always those possibilities but y you have to realize too that there's some stocks you cannot play around with y you just you can't play around with some stocks that it's just not in the ballpark it's very dangerous and nvidia is one of those stocks it's very dangerous to play around with if you're betting on nvidia to go to like 90 bucks couldn't nvidia go to 90 bucks absolutely that's a very that is a very real possibility especially these next two months in the market because these next two months in the market are going to be very very uh very up and down and uh i I'm going to say some things that are probably going to be very biased sounding and very mean, and I'm not trying to be whatsoever, but I, I do, there's an elephant in the room that needs to be addressed, and I think we should all just talk about it. With NVIDIA here, you know, NVIDIA has this new chip coming out, and that is going to take sales and revenue probably to even bigger numbers going into next year especially this time next year oh my god i can't even imagine what we're going to be talking about it's just it's going to be like it's almost going to be like, nvidia is going to be that like it's going to be that fighter where you just get sick of them winning and you're just like i just want to see them get beat i just want to see something bad happen to see that they're real that's probably more than likely is what that's what's happening here with nvidia because we saw the quarterlies come out just last month not even that and they were amazing they were like the biggest quarterlies out of any company in the world just for that quarter and people were like yeah yeah oh, okay whatever we knew that was gonna happen <laughs> it, was, it was just a fake pump it was a, people were like whatever okay we expect that it wasn't you know 40 billion it, th this is this this is the craziness of what's going on with nvidia right now so like i said to start off with be careful you know playing around with nvidia here because i i, I will say this I'm, I'm willing to bet within the next five six months especially getting into next year very early in the next year no matter where the market's at nvidia is going to be rolling nvidia is not going to wait on the market nvidia is going to be rolling because it's going to have this new chip out it's going to be producing even bigger quarterlies i'm sure if not at least matching them and going over what they've already done just by the hair at least so there's no reason for nvidia to sell off it's just going to capture people's attention in the FOMO in the air which and when I say FOMO I mean that in a very nice positive way just where people go like you know what I just don't want to miss out and they're going to buy into it no matter what the price is so with that can Nvidia go to $90 god I hope so I hope Nvidia has a bad day I am praying to god almighty Nvidia has a terrible day and it goes to $90 but I, I can't wait on that forever so with this situation, it, you know, anything under 115 at this point with Nvidia is like buying gold bricks going into the future. That is the legit truth. If if no one is telling you that or somebody's telling you that's a lie, I would be very careful listening to that person. You are talking about one of the biggest the biggest company in the world, especially when we get into next year. So with that too, I I do want to say this and this is where I'm not trying to be biased, I'm not trying to be mean whatsoever and I'm not trying to talk politics whatsoever but this has to be addressed 100 percent so obviously we just had and i say this as a fellow investor because this when you when you invest in stocks this is the god's honest truth like i think if you invest in stocks and you've been investing in stocks for over a year now maybe even two years you've noticed something change with your life and what you see with the general media with the government with the fed everything you will see a different side of life. 
here's the situation what we're seeing right now so I, I as as an investor and my fellow investors i think we're all seeing something right now we're seeing two <clears throat> two different roads right now there's the trump road where there's a certain group of stocks that are going yeah 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 we want that guy then there's another smaller group of stocks over here that are like yeah we like kamala we're going for her Obviously, AI stocks right now, that express, especially the ones that are focusing on this chip situation, because the chips are mostly all of them are coming out of Taiwan, but there are select few, less than two at this point, companies that are going to start building chips here in America, but that's still, you know, years away at this point. Trump is talking about adding this tax on countries. So this is a situation where AI stocks do not like that because these AI companies like Nvidia, they make the, they they invent the trip the chip they they design it they write it up, then they tell their the company overseas in Taiwan hey this is what you're gonna make they make it over there then they ship it back here or ship it wherever in the world, so with that obviously we're talking about added taxes being on that, um, and that is where. You know that could somewhat push back on ai stocks if trump were to win i don't really think it's going to matter too much in the end because these ai stocks are making ungodly amounts of money the majority of them that are really big right now and just out of control and you can't stop them and, and obviously the the ai stocks most of them especially the chip ones are leaning more towards kamala because she's not going to do that she's not talking about doing that and it's just not going to happen but I will say this, I have noticed something the past six months. This is, and this is just, this is, this is the truth. We've seen it and you were denying it if you don't believe it. The market right now, it wants a Trump victory. It wants a Trump victory. The market, the majority of the market, the pillars of the market are looking for a Trump win. This is not me endorsing him whatsoever. This is me telling you this is what it is. Here's some evidence to prove that. One, when we saw the debate with Trump and Biden, Trump came out the winner that night, just on the, 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 the circumstances of what happened. The market started moving that night. The pre-market was moving into the night. That is how the buzz was going. With It looked like this is in the bag, Trump has it, the market was moving. FOMO died down. Next, we have the assassination attempt on Trump. Trump media mania is going crazy once again. Polls are through the roof. People are like, this is my guy. Stock market for 48 hours goes crazy. We have the debate just last night with Trump and Kamala. I dare say Kamala was more the favored one in that debate. Stock market did not move last night. It did not move into this morning until this inflation report came out. This is the situation as an investor where you have to look at this and go like, okay, if Kamala wins, I'm gonna be safe with a lot of these AI stocks. I'm gonna still be safe whether or not she wins or not. If you're putting your money in good AI stocks, Nvidia. So I say this because I've seen a lot of people go, well, if Trump wins, Nvidia and a lot of these other AI stocks, they're not gonna do well say that I, I really want it I, I don't think I, I think you know the bull is out of the cage at this point you cannot control what Nvidia has going on so with saying that the general whole market as itself is looking for a Trump victory that is just the way it is that is not me trying to come on here and tell you to vote for him whatsoever anything like that that is not what I'm saying I'm just saying that is the zeitgeist of what we're seeing right now that is the truth I think you have to be blind to see that and you have to put aside your anger and hatred for him and just know whether you like it or not the market is wanting that right now doesn't mean it's going to happen that's just what the market's going after if kamala wins well here's what we can look forward to we can look forward to if you're putting money in a lot of these ai stocks they're going to do good they're going to continue to do good it's a guaranteed win um and there's some obviously defense stocks they're going to continue to do very well so with that what i'm trying to say with this whole story friends is that don't be afraid to buy nvidia because nvidia is much like 
Tesla. It's like Tesla quite a bit where it doesn't follow the rules and guidelines of most stocks. It does what it wants to when it wants to. It makes its own roads and pushes everything out of the way. Nvidia moved up quite a bit today. Just today alone, Nvidia moved almost 10% today. That is huge. That is huge. That is a huge swing trade today. If you were swinging Nvidia today, if you were buying in last week and selling today, that's a big win. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, especially when big corporations are buying uh, thousands of shares of Nvidia. I, I just say that because I, I look in a lot of chat rooms. Obviously, I get a ton of comments um, on platforms. Know that wherever you buy in with Nvidia, it's not going to matter probably in the next year, especially five years. Nvidia probably within the next three to four years, we'll be talking probably about another split. There's no barriers right now with Nvidia. That's what you have to understand. That's why the hype will start up here again. There's no barriers. My God, they're talking all of this. Oh, all of this revenue we've been watching these groundbreaking quarterlies coming out. That's for their old chip. That's the old chip. They're about to come out with a new chip that's the strongest one in the world. What do you think's about to happen again going into this year, into 2026? We're going to see insane numbers. Don't be afraid to invest in your future. Don't listen to negative comments right now. Know that this is a moment in time where this is life-changing events for you financially and for your family. I'm buying right now. I'm buying NVIDIA. Anything under, honestly, under 120, 115 we're going. Friends, I wish all of you the best of luck. Be careful who you're listening to out there. This is a moment that you will remember.